Hello everyone! In this video we'll be going over the claim enclosure tree. The claim enclosure tree is basically just your main navigation menu for getting around the different components of a claim file. So I'm going to first show you a claim that's brand new, so you can see the claim tree without any actual claim data. And then we'll jump to another claim full of claim data, so you can see how that affects the look and feel of the claim enclosure tree. So starting from the claim grid, I'll go ahead and select this claim file from our Getting Started with SimSolve video, and I can either double click it to open it, or simply make sure it's the one that's highlighted and hit the Show Highlighted Claim File here at the top. Now that I'm in the claim, you'll now be able to see the claim enclosure tree over to the left. As we take a closer look at this menu, you can see the different sections available for this claim. First in the list is the claim data, which is comprised of the loss information, activity log and diary, the invoice and billing section, and the claim history. As we move further down, you can see the building estimate, the APS estimate, which is where you'll do your estimates for detached garages, secondary buildings, or things of that nature. And just beneath that, you'll see where you can do your contents inventories. And then you'll see the ALE, also known as Additional Living Expense Estimates. Below your estimates, you'll see where you can create square foot valuations, reports, forms, sketches and diagrams, digital photos, attached documents, and then finally your notebooks. There are two very easy ways to add data to these various claim components. Either we can use the corresponding speed button at the top to create something new, or you can right click in the claim enclosure tree to create that new component. For instance, if I go to the sketches and diagrams and right click, you'll see the pop-up display that allows me to create a new sketch. The same thing holds true for things like estimates that have yet to be created. If I come up to my APS estimate and right click, there's an option for new. Now if you don't like the right click option, you can always come up to the claim menu at the top and use any of these speed buttons to generate a new item. You'll see there are quite a few options to choose from in the speed menu bar. Building, APS, Contents, ALE, Valuations, Reports, Forms, Sketches, Photos, Attachments, Notebooks, and etc. If you're on a device with a camera attached, you'll also see the ability to take a photo using your camera inside of SimSol. So now that we've covered how to create new components in your claim, Let's walk through the portion of this claim enclosure tree that you'll be spending most of your time in, the estimates. The building estimate portion is comprised of three separate parts. The first one is the building estimate information screen, where you can set the coverages applied, change the database pricing table, add cover page notes, set depreciation, labor rates, and more. The scope of damage screen is where you'll actually be able to create the areas, roofs, and elevations, add dimensions, and then add line items to your estimate. And then finally, the building estimate total page. The total page is where you'll be able to view your estimate totals, add in sales tax, overhead and profit, add total page notes, view audit reports, generate your statement of loss, and more. So now that we've seen the claim enclosure tree in its basic unused estate, let's jump into a claim that has some claim data in it so you can see how it looks. So to get out of this claim and back to the claim grid, I'll select the button labeled Show Claims Grid. This will return me back to the claims grid where all of my files are listed. I want to pick a file that I've previously created to show you. I can select the Show Highlighted Claim File button at the top, or simply just double click. So right away, you'll see that the claim enclosure tree has much more information in it. Right now, you'll see that I have an estimate created by noting the scope of damage and the total pages displayed. You'll also see that I have a square foot valuation, a few reports entered, some forms, and taking a look here, you'll see in parentheses how many digital photos and attachments I have attached to this claim. If I go under building estimate and click on scope of damage, you'll see all of the areas that I have created for my building estimate. In my total page, you'll see all of the totals calculated up for easy viewing. So that is the claim enclosure tree. 
It makes it very simple to navigate from one section of the claim to another by just simply clicking on that component and being taken to the claim data for that particular section. So take some time to practice navigating between components of the claim enclosure tree on your program, and you'll be a pro in no time. In the next video, we'll be walking through creating an area and then adding in line items to that area. In the description box below, you'll find a free PDF tutorial on getting started with SimSolve.